explain more more app storage mode and uh, its advantages and disadvantages is the question that you'll get uh, in SSS interviews. Let's see. Uh, as we discussed in one of our videos, more app storage mode is the most important one, uh, most frequently used one, and it's the default one. When you create a dimension or when you create a measure group, it's the default one which sets uh, when you create the object. Now, what is more app storage mode? The more app storage mode tells the server that the data needs to be stored on the analysis service side. What does it mean? Where that analysis service side means? How 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 you can see the data? So let's jump into the topic. When, when, when you set the storage mode to MOLAP, for example, here if you see the storage mode of this dimension, the product is set to MOLAP, and um, the cube, the partition, is set to MOLAP. You can see it here. It, the storage mode is set to MOLAP. Now, let me show you where the data and how the data will be stored. The data will be stored on analysis service side in the form of binary, form, binary files, and it will be compressed. Uh, it will not occupy the, the one of the uh, advantage one of the advantages is like it, it doesn't take much space like your relational database let's say your relational database takes 500 gigs of uh, size space then uh, analysis services side it, it, it again depends on your uh, cube definition cube structure how you are defining it so the size will be normally something around 100 gigs for your 500 GB of relational database but it's not 100% accurate every time. It again always depends on your cube design. If you make your cube design more complex than your relational by adding the dimension again and again or making wrong relationships or using fact tables in your dimensions, the size of the cube or the, I mean, the, the size of the cube database may increase, but uh, normally the ratio will be like one is to five. 100 gigs of uh, analysis service database will be like some 500 gigs of your relational database. Now, let me process it. Let me show you how the data will be stored on the analysis service side. So for that, I'm taking uh, the, I'm giving a new database name, uh, SSS interview questions um, sample. This is the database name with which it's going to deploy. So the data, the files will be created, the data files will be created in the data folder of your analysis services. Let's say my analysis services installed in this folder. C program files Microsoft SQL Server, MSAS 12.ms SQL Server, OLAP, and uh, data folder. Under OLAP, you will have a data folder. Um, so I think if you reinstall in your local machine, most of the cases, it, it, it will be the same path. But in real-time projects, people define their own path. Let's say in like in E drive, D drive, F drive, you can specify the data folder. Wherever you specify the data folder, the files will be copied to the data folder by creating a folder with the database name. So here I've given the database name as SSAs interview questions underscore sample. So if I process the cube now under the data folder, I can see a new folder getting created with that name. Let me do that. Right click, click on process. I'm deploying it. Oops. Uh, something wrong. Let me correct this issue. Uh, the issue is I have added an attribute which is of a binary data type that doesn't uh, accept here. So let me process it again. I deleted the attribute. Okay, and you can see already a folder is created. Okay, when I when, when the deployment is completed, you can see a folder created in the data folder. Now, if you go to the properties of the folder, it's just 200 KB, 10 files, nothing. The basic stuff will be available in the folder, like uh, the DIN, what are the dimensions, it's just the structure, structure of it, okay? Now, if I click on run, then it will start populating the, I mean, populating the folders here, like the DIN product. It will pull all the data from your product table and it creates in the for, in the different file format, I mean binary file format, and it stores here. And you can see the file size is getting increased as it's pulling the data from your SQL Server because it pulls the data, uh, leaf level data, and it stores here in the analysis services in the form of binary files. So this is where the data will be stored when you set the MOLAP storage mode for your SSAs cubes. And that's the cube size. Now it should be increased a little bit because the trade data 
let me see I think it will not be more because the database is pretty small it's a sample database and it's just 1.28 MB so if the database is pretty big or pretty huge like a real-time database as well you will have data by database in terabytes of size you can see the size of this folder will grow like up to 500 gigs or 1000 gigs depends on your relational database and your cube design now this is your MOLAP storage mode this is where the data will be stored now let's see the advantages of uh, using MOLAP storage mode this is having one of the huge I mean best advantage compared to the difference to the, the remaining two storage modes that is why people I mean Microsoft itself said this one as default storage mode because the biggest advantage is performance it will be super fast in I mean, compared to Rollup and uh, Holap. So nowadays people want the report to be generated uh, within fraction of seconds. So people prefer to have the data pre-processed and ready and whenever they click on the report it should fetch the data. If you if you use Rollup against the huge databases and if the database is not so quicker one then you have to wait for minutes to generate the report. The MOLAP is not like that either speed of the I mean, report I mean the speed of the database the querying speed will be super fast when you use the MOLAP that is what um, it put MOLAP on the top position when compared to the rollup and whole app storage modes when you come to the disadvantages of the MOLAP the first thing is it's an additional space you will have all the data in your relational database let's say your relational database is 1000 gigabyte in size and let's say your cube size, cube analysis service, that means the folder that it is going to create here and read the files, uh, may read the data and fill the files. Uh, let's say this is around 200 or 300 gigs or somewhere around 500 gigs. It's waste. It's, it's, it's extra space, right? So this is one of the disadvantages. And the second and the most important disadvantage is this is not real time. Uh, that means, let's say I process the cube today at this point of time. I processed a couple of minutes back. And let's say if I add, if the user added or if my SSIS application loading data into my data warehouse and there are new products added and a lot of fact information added, uh, but that will not be available until I process the cube again. Because the once the MOLAP is processed, that's it. Whatever the data it has read at that moment it processed, that will be the final until you process it for the next time. This is major uh, disadvantage of using MOLAP. And one more advantage of using MOLAP storage mode is the connectivity to the data source. The data source here for this particular cube is Adventure with DW in my local computer. So I don't need to have the connection to my relational database, underlying relational database 24 by 7. Because it required only at the time of during processing. Once the data is processed, that's it. It will remove, release the connection and you don't need the connection until you need until you process the cube again, right? But in re but in relational OLAP, you have you need to have the connection because the data will be stored in your relational database side, but not in your analysis service side. So to make it short, the advantages are the speed, and the second one is you don't need to have the connection continuously to your relational underlying database. The disadvantages are extra space, and the second one is it's always outdated one. So this is about more app storage mode. Hope you understood the concepts and stay tuned for more videos on SSIS, SSIS and SSRS integer questions. Thank you. Bye bye.